what's going on. So you'll spend a, a, about another 10 to 20 minutes um, making sure your jar is as smooth as it can be on the clay side. Um, the seam is covered here. I'll have some work to do uh, to cover that and I'll just do a little bit now and then after that I'll have to kind of make sure it's as smooth as it can be. If you plan on adding a ton of texture, which I do plan on adding texture, then you'll see that I won't have to worry as much, but I still want it to be a quality, a certain level of quality that I feel is acceptable. Now, you might be keeping your jar for yourself or Maybe you want to create these jars to put your own designs on and sell them to uh, the public. And I do do that. And you can check out the new website as soon as I'm done. I've just, I'm just in the process of revamping Lux and Vixen. And so you can always go there. Uh, but you can always, before the website, you can always check out or if you have a question, you can always send me a message on Facebook, Lux and Vixen Designs Facebook page, and you can simply find it under uh, going to Facebook and then Facebook search bar and just putting in L-U-X-V-I-X-6-8. And the page should pop up and you should be able to find it and just contact us there okay and so for the next video going forward we will start at this a nice smooth jar so you'll click on you'll click off now at the video ending and you will continue to smooth your jar you will continue to uh, put any little pieces by again cutting a little piece of your clay and inserting it try to be as particular with the size of the piece that you're doing. Go ahead and do that. And you'll continue that until your jar is mostly smooth with the clay on it. The texture seems doable to you, mostly smooth. Um, we're gonna be adding texture anyway, but I wanna make sure that our basis is smooth. So you'll just keep doing that until you feel it's smooth enough, and I'll show you the my smooth jar uh, as soon as you click on the next video. Again, make sure you have paint brushes instead in case you wanna paint on, on it when you're done. Make sure you have baubles, things that you might wanna have. You won't need them right now, but get them together. In the next video, we will be going to talk more about this being smooth and we'll continue to add our clay and we will also discuss and go to see if we can squeeze into that video completing your top. So make sure you have enough clay to continue your jar and then you want to look at your cover and you will want some type of clay, whether that's the continuation of the color you're using. In my case, it's green. If you're using another color, just make sure you have enough to cover your jar, and that means the sides as well. All right, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. This is tutorial number two. The first tutorial was the introduction, and that was, of course, the promo video and you're here at the tutorial with Lux and Vixen Designs. I will see you soon. Bye!